Hello, freak bitches. Okay, so I um, am known as this male feminist, um, which again, um, and, and it kind of becomes my thing. So I go on your show. We argue about it because I'm like, I don't have comic friends anymore. Uh, so uh, I, I, I take this side. Um, and I didn't hear all about the rape joke. Like, I just heard all the whole Daniel Tosh story I heard uh, at the Stanhope show for the first time because the articles I read don't have the nuanced parts, right? So well, all the, I. Let's explain what actually happened. Sure. Daniel Tosh was not supposed to be on stage that night. Daniel Tosh was just hanging out at the Laugh Factory, and his good friend Dom Herrera asked him to go up. And he said, I'll go. Okay, I don't have anything to talk about. He goes on stage, everybody goes crazy. Oh my God, Daniel Tosh is here. This is amazing. And he goes, Look, he goes, I don't have any material. I'm not even supposed to be up here. So what do you guys want to talk about? What, you know, and some guy yells out, Rape. And he goes, Yeah. He goes, Yeah, that's real funny, sir. What, what's funny about rape? The humiliation, yeah. the violence. And this woman yells out, Actually, nothing's funny about rape. Like very self aggrandizing. Yeah. And he goes, wouldn't it be funny if five guys raped her right now? Right. Like that, that's the funny part. That's so, like what a comedian does. So that line was the, the line that was circulating. Mm -hmm. But even that first part, not that... That part was ignored conveniently. The whole part where he's just like, what's funny about it? And like, right. that's a good, technically, that's an anti-rape joke, right? Exactly. Um, Which and, if you know Daniel, that's how he thinks. I right. Mean, he's not, he's not a, a bad guy no, in any sense of the word. And that's a great way, but that has to do with these echo chambers where I'm like, well, I didn't fucking hear that part right. of it. Um, I just hear the part, you just hear the part um, that you're supposed to attack. And then, you know, ironically, I, I went to one of Bert's podcasts uh, at the, the same festival, the All Things Comedy Festival. And fucking Doug and Bert, like this whole rape thing happened in the audience. I don't know if you heard about it, but like no. all hell broke loose. A rape um, thing in the audience? What yeah. Happened? So like, uh, I don't want to be the one to blow up the spot. I don't know if Bert's gonna air it. If he's gonna, if he, if he airs the uh, the take off from work podcast or whatever, it's one of the best things I've ever heard. But this, we can call him right now. Yeah. Because I don't want to blow up his spot. But essentially, what happened was they Stanhope. It'll just get people to listen. Good. Uh, Stanhope started. Uh, talking about uh, rape and child rape, and the whole show became very rape-themed. Right. And there was a girl next to me, and there was a woman next to me and my girlfriend who just started screaming, like, don't talk about it. And, like, so they ignored her the whole time. Um, and my girlfriend and I would look over, and then she would, like, have another sip of her drink and watch the show and giggle, and then rape would come up. And she was like, stop talking. And she would just scream, but, like, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't leave. Like, she didn't get up and leave. And that was, like... It was so interesting to be on like sort of the opposite end of that where, you know, nothing offensive was really happening. And I'm like, fuck, man, I, I, I'm next to that lady from the Tosh show. This right. is this is like my karmic fate. Uh, and I'm just like, she should go. She should leave. But anyway, so I was on the not comic side of that. And by then I wasn't doing comedy clubs. I was never really accepted into comedy clubs. I'm just playing for my progressive audience at like a vegan coffee house like. That's I'm just playing random like little rock gigs for like my audience. So again, echo chamber, right? And I'm not hanging out with comics. So when people are like, "Why aren't you defending a comic?" I'm like, "I don't know, man, because I don't think I am one. Like, I, I, I didn't really consider myself one." And so, um, yeah. So me and you, uh, me and you went at it. I believe uh, it, it was very divisive. I think half your audience thought I was a, a whiny bitch, and the other half thought I was a whiny bitch who should get raped. Uh, it was very one-sided. Nobody liked me. Uh, I was. Uh, I, I did not come off well. Um, I'm told. And, but I was like, I guess I did the right thing, right? I guess I sided with women over over uh, jokes. And so from then on, any comic that did like me didn't. Um, well, let me stop you right there. Just, yeah, yeah. You know, listen, just and I'm not trying to sound for the sake of me, honesty, by the way. Yeah. For the sake of honesty, the real issue came not just because of that, but because of your characterization. The of next the day. Yeah. Totally. So the next day... There's a video out about it that someone put together called the Kilstein Delusion. Yeah, and some of that shit was taken out of context. Some of that shit I will completely like own up to. I watched it like once. I mean... At that point, <laughs> that point, uh, just all hell broke loose. Like I lost my, uh, I lost my managers. I was having like a someone hacked my Twitter and just wrote rape all over it. And why, I was kind of like, why'd you lose your manager? Uh, they said it was because I I I, I don't uh, cooperate with the comedy community. Uh, to be fair to them, I was like a pain in the ass client. It was hard enough for me to fucking book, and then every comic hates me, and they're like, I don't know, man. I think they just like threw their hands up. Um. 
And so the next day was one of those things where I'm like, I either doubled down um, and like, and I was like, it wasn't like I'm like, I'm going to lie. It was, I'm going to try to uh, defend myself and give like, you know, my side to it. And that I don't. uh, Let me stop you here real quick. (laughs) 